Hello coloring friends, welcome to Finding Color 100 Prompts, a weekly challenge uh, where everyone color in adult coloring books for certain prompts and usually we have one week for coloring and today we'll see the results for the prompt number 29, Mushroom and for this prompt we had two weeks instead of one uh, because I wanted small break and what I can say, I did have my break to the full. I didn't color anything, I didn't do videos. Uh, though at first I wanted uh, to film a video with my completed illustrations for uh, January and February. But then I thought it's almost uh, middle of March, so let me uh, do this video for three months a little bit later. So break <laughs> and then uh, with um, being so fresh uh, during one week I was able to color two illustrations uh, this prompt uh, we had it in our first season and that time we had uh, 69 illustration but many people like this prompt and so I included it in um, our second season and I think there is no artist uh, that doesn't have at least one page with mushrooms in their, among their works. And so we have 148 illustrations today. That's the record and never such a big number. I think because we had two weeks instead of one and because this prompt is so interesting and so easy to find. So such number of illustrations. And of course we have pictures from Hannah Carlson, Kerber Azanes, Maria Trolle, Lulu Mayo, Rita Berman, uh, Brian, um, Morgan O'Brien and um, some illustrations from uh, artists that we don't see that often in our gallery um, like Ken Matsuda, Karolina Kubikovska, Lenka Filonenka, Anastasia Kodriva, Alina Lazareva, Tamislav Tomic, such a big variety of artists and books. It was a pleasure to see all these um, illustrations completed. Um, so different um, themes, characters, um, genre. Uh, so I really enjoyed it. Uh, okay, let me show what I have colored for this prompt. As I said, I have two illustrations this time. And Nature Mandalas by Milpomeni and I always liked this illustration and wanted to color it but um, never did <laughs> and this time I decided this is my chance uh, a lot of mushrooms here um, though I didn't color it completely in realistic colors. I wanted it to be more bright, uh, maybe more uh, fairy tale-ish. As you can see, I really enjoyed doing all these mushrooms and snails. It's not that um, colorful maybe, uh, but still colorful enough for me and I think it looks uh, lovely. I used markers and uh, pencils here, a little bit of gel pens. Another illustration of different type. It's uh, from White Flower Folk by Christine Karen. I couldn't res resist to color this cutie. Such a cute illustration, such a cute fairy. And it's one of my latest books. Um, this is my second completed illustration in this book, so I was glad to color it. I used only uh, Faber-Castell polychromos here. Even background, everything done with these pencils. And I really enjoyed it. <laughs> Nothing that much complicated about Christine Karen's illustrations. It's rather easy to color them and they always look so pretty. If you 
take off these uh, wings and you forget this longish ear she looks like a girl nothing that much fairy tale -ish about her uh, so the, these were my works for this prompt mushroom and now let's uh, have a look at all the submitted illustrations uh, it's going to be a rather long um, slideshow so you can uh, take a cup of tea or coffee and uh, enjoy our video let's go <music>
these were our gallery of works for the prompt mushroom our second gallery of works and thank you everyone who joined this time for this challenge for this prompt um, I really enjoyed um, this uh, challenge this prompt and now of course it's time to draw a new prompt for the upcoming one week we are back to our usual routine and uh, let's find out uh, what we'll be coloring during next next week Uh, so friends, something more difficult uh, this time, cow, uh, bull, maybe buffalo, um, these kind of animals, uh, domestic animals. Um, it's going to be, I think, more hard to find suitable illustrations here, and I think uh, more hard in, in sense of coloring. <clears throat> but I like when we have uh, different prompts, uh, sometimes something more easy, something for fun, and then some more challenging uh, prompts, um, uh, that something that uh, we would not color on our own, uh, but it's like a challenge for us to try something new. Uh, what I can think about at the moment... <coughs> Zodiac sign Taurus. I believe it would suit this theme. And another illustration I remember from Tolkien World, a bestie of Tolkien. There is one illustration with buffalo, I believe. And that's it. I don't have many illustrations books with uh, like animals, domestic animals. Uh, but I do have some with zodiac signs, so it is going to be interesting to look through my collection. And I'm curious what I will be able to find. And see you in a second. So friends, I'm back and surprisingly it didn't take me that much time to find quite a good number of illustrations for this prompt, a cow or bull. Um, turn out it was easy more illustration that I had expected and let me show what I have found the first book that came onto my mind a bestseller of Tolkien and this illustration of oxen um, a rather simple illustration especially if you can use watercolors and this guy um, 
it's very good for this prompt and then zodiac signs tales from the stars Anna Miarzinska I love to color in this book because because of the paper and beautiful illustrations uh, there are three pictures for Taurus uh, zodiac sign but uh, this one is more suitable because here we actually don't have any uh, bull only horns yeah, but this one very good really like it another with zodiac signs astrology by Anna Jaren a rather simple illustration but very cute very cute bull rather hairy and some flowers around would be uh, very easy to color I think and I have only one completed illustration in this book so far uh, coloring heaven collection ancient Egypt Fabiana Trere again I have only one completed illustration here and for this prompt there is this nice illustration um, Egyptian farmer uh, with this guy an interesting illustration in this book mythographic magical earth um, Joseph Kettenbank this type of a bull in fantasy way with rice fields nice illustration and of course Corbrazanes Mythomorphia and Minotaur I have colored one Minotaur and there's another one uh, would be nice for this prom too I haven't found any cow surprisingly and I'm curious whether I have or not <laughs> I'm curious, maybe I will look through more of my books um, in hope to find actually a cow. But I think some of you would find a cow and even maybe color it. Uh, so, <clears throat> again, it's going to be interesting. I'll be waiting for your uh, completed illustrations for this prompt. And that was all for today. See you next time. Bye.